Hey Church, uh, welcome back. My name's Adam. Uh, you've made it to Wednesday. Uh, I'm a part of the production team here at Audacious Church in Manchester Central Campus. Uh, and again, it is Wednesday and we are getting on with our devotion about uh, relationship over rules. So we are deepening our relationship uh, with Jesus. Now, let's go back to Mark, uh, the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, uh, verses 17 to 22, where he was talking about how he wanted to get into the kingdom of heaven. And God was saying, what you need to do is you need to give all your wealth to the poor. OK, that's what you need to do. You're, you're missing the point. One thing you lack, he said, go and sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have the treasure in heaven then come follow me and the man's face fell he went away sad because he was very wealthy he knew what he had now yesterday we continued our thought of developing and deepening our relationship with jesus by having a consumed heart okay again knowing that we are always loved and realizing that nothing can separate us from that that love that free unmerited grace of god now today the second way we can develop our relationship is to have a clean heart OK, because we looked at separating from love yesterday and we thought on Monday. So let's have another thing. We can look at how uh, we can look at developing our relationship to having a clean heart. So let's look at uh, the book of Psalms 51 uh, verse 10. Uh, so create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. It's a beautiful verse. Remember, the devil wants to keep you in that state of lack. OK, maybe even keep you in a cycle of sin. OK, and bad habits. You're repeating the same thing over and over again. This will bring you limits and it will bring you restrictions in your life. And God wants you to be free of it. He wants to break that cycle okay, of sin. He wants to break that cycle of the same mistakes that you're making every single time. Now, common questions we're asked uh, as Christians are certainly common questions as that I am asked is, what am I allowed to do? People are saying, what do I do in this situation? It's like, don't ask me, you know, read the book. You know, what are the rules? How far is too far? Like, what will I get away with? Well, read the book, okay? That's what you need to do. Whenever I am, whenever I am um, puzzled or clueless, what's the one thing I do? I read the book. Um, now, we want to be um, as far away as possible um, from the enemy and to protect our hearts, okay? And ask God, uh, like David did, to create us in a clean heart. He wants to create a clean heart for us. Now, in the book of Proverbs, uh, chapter 4, verse 23, it says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Now, let's take a moment again. Ask yourself um, for God to show you any area of your life uh, that isn't clean. Okay? You can think of any area, whether it be at work um, or um, whether you're studying. It could be at school or university. Um, it could be absolutely anything where there is sin. Um, where there is uh, maybe evil, ask for forgiveness. Ask God for forgiveness. Experience his love. Know that any hold over your life can be broken um, in Jesus' name. I hope this has uh, inspired your day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks, guys.